cyberpunk, a thing I love and always will. And generally, I don't love the questions of what's your favorite this or that because those are very difficult questions to answer. But in this case, immediately I have things that come to mind as far as cyberpunk, as far as getting baptized into the world of cyberpunk, what I would recommend as far as a book, a movie, and an album. So a book for me and one that I read relatively recently in the last couple of years was Altered Carbon by Richard K. Morgan. And it's a great, it's just a great concept. It's really written very well and Netflix picked it up and they are actually currently right now turning it into a series, which I cannot wait to see. Please don't screw it up. Please don't screw it up. As far as film goes, really not just my favorite cyberpunk film, but almost my favorite film of all time is Blade Runner. And it's not just because of the aesthetic, the look, it's the acting, it's the dialogue, it's the concept based on a Philip K. Dick book. But the score is one of my favorite scores of all time in all film. I, I, I always loved Vangelis, but that score specifically, the emotion that's brought out, the, the sonic quality, and if you realize how he scored that film, which wasn't uh, programming it into a computer like we do today or writing it out, he literally just watched the film back and just played what he was feeling as the scene was rolling down. So every time he played to a scene, it was always a little different because he was writing to the score as he was watching it. Awesome. I will never be that talented and I have much respect for somebody like that. Finally, album-wise, there are a lot of ways that can go, but I hail back to the 80s and 90s when I was really, I just wanted to be a cyborg so bad, but I couldn't afford the implants, so I just never actually got it done. But I was listening to a lot of industrial music at the time, and one of my favorite albums that really felt super cyberpunk to me was Frontline Assembly's Caustic Grip. That is my recommendation on the music end of things. I have very much respect for the late Carl Sagan. Yes, of course, I've watched the Cosmos series when I was a kid, and now they redid it with Neil deGrasse Tyson, and I watched that whole thing again because the information is astounding, and we discovered so many more things. I've never actually read any of Carl Sagan's books, but specifically within the realm of Cosmos and his theories on space um, and our universe, I was, I was mystified as a child hearing this guy talk and spout these facts about billions and billions and billions and billions, which were, was one of his favorite catchphrases. So um, here's to you, Carl.